hey everyone and welcome back to prefusion so today the gate ec paper happened so one question came from the control system this is a very interesting question the question has uh, like uh, said that we have been given this transfer function which is a oltf open loop transfer function k upon one pl s plus one into s plus two into s plus three and uh, it is oltf of a unity feedback system we have to find the range of k for which the impulse response of the closed loop transfer function will decay faster than e raised to power minus t now at first i thought like it may be some uh, root logos problem but no this is like this can be simply solved with the help of uh, rao thurwitz criterion so uh, what do we mean by first what do we mean by impulse response what is impulse response impulse response means my input like uh, my r of t is a impulse signal okay my input is a impulse signal if my input is impulse signal then what will my response my uh, like uh, if i convert this into laplace r of s will be simply one hence my response c of s uh like we know transfer what is transfer function transfer function is closed transfer function is c of s upon r of s now, now if r of s is one hence my response c of s will be simply my transfer function itself now the laplace inverse of this one will be c of t will be the laplace inverse of this transfer function okay the cltf so that is what it has asked over here so they, they are talking that it should decay faster than e raised to power minus t uh, e raised to power minus t now what do you mean by that now tell me one thing if i have two uh, exponential one is e raised to power minus t one is e raised to power minus 2t like three i have one is e raised to power minus 0.5t now which one will decay faster now if i just if you just uh, plot this in your graph and something what you will see is the, if this one is decaying like this okay the first one now let me draw the the second one with yellow pen this one will decay for much faster this one will decay much faster and this one will decay much slower slower the 0.5 one okay so like uh, let me color these three and let me color this one yeah why is this decaying much faster what is the time constant of this time constant is 0.5 so it, it settles at a much faster rate four tau is the time total settling time so it will settle much faster what is the time constant time constant is one over here what is the time constant time constant is two over here so it will settle slower like like that also you can understand simple graph you can understand whatever uh, method you choose you can understand okay so this is the case like now what the question has asked it should decay faster than ESO minus t hence our uh, like uh, our response should like have some exponential terms like this we can't take this okay we can't choose this because this is decaying slower than e raised to power minus t now what does this exponential represent if you re recall correctly this exponential represents the real part of my roots so if i have some a upon s plus 1 plus b upon s plus 2 then if you take the laplace inverse here i will get e raised to power minus i'm just i'm just doing this just on the go e so minus t plus b e raised to power minus 2t so this will be something like this, this right so we will get some exponential term now that is what it is asking that whatever terms in the denominator come in the closed loop transfer function they should all be less than minus 1 sorry less than uh, like a pole should be le less than minus 1 all the poles should lie less than minus 1 if any of the poles lie greater than minus 1 then obviously this exponential term here instead of like uh, this less than uh, minus 1 something greater will come like point minus point five like the example i took over here so yeah that is what we want that is why you have to think that yeah all the close like all the closed loop poles all the poles of cltf should be less than minus one okay this is the first thing like this is the main concept that you have to pick up from the uh, wordings there so yeah now uh, how to do this now how to do this so simply what you have to do you have to find whichever like va uh, valid values of k for which all the poles lie less than uh, less than minus one now how to how to find that how to do that what we know with raut we can find uh, which how many poles are on the right hand side how many poles are on the left hand side of uh, zero axis s equal to zero now but here i have to find around s equals to minus one how do i do that so here this is my sigma j omega plane okay and this is my minus one line real line now all the poles should lie around in this region none of the poles should lie in this region now but with route what do we do with route i do that all the poles should lie on this left hand side of the zero now what we can do is we can map this plane 
now concept of mapping will come that's why nike so is also very important now this what we can do we can go to a new plane sigma dash g omega and we can convert this that so that such that my uh like this is z plane this name this as z plane and this is s plane okay now i will convert this that when my s is, s is also minus 1 in this plane my z should be equals to 0 so how how can i how can i write it so if you write uh, z equals to s plus 1 if i write this then what does this tell now if i put s equals to minus 1 over here what happens if i put s equals to minus 1 over here my uh, z is 0 okay so hence when s is minus 1 then z becomes 0 that's how i map this plane now what i will do i have this equation okay now we'll replace s here uh, with z with the value of z so 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 that i can use the rao hurwitz criterion to apply the simple theorem like how many poles are on the left hand side and how many poles are on the right hand side so yeah my z uh, like s equals to z minus 1 now i will replace this in this uh, oltf okay then i will find the condition so my oltf g of g of s modified g of s it's not it's a function of s anymore it is a function of z okay so this is k k will not change but here all the other things will change now s is equal to z minus 1 it was s plus 1 so this will be z only and this will be s plus 2 so this will be z plus 1 this will be s plus 3 so this will be z plus 2 okay now let's write the characteristic equation through that we will apply the route herpes criterion so this will become z into z square plus plus 3z plus 2 plus k equals to 0 now what is the condition here whatever is the minus 1 point all of them are shifted to 0 hence simply use the rao hurwitz criterion we can use so this will be z cube plus 3z square plus 2z plus k equals to 0 okay now uh, either you can use the route table but i will use a shortcut here so when is the system stable when all the poles lie on the left hand side of the screen when is the case the case is when my internal product is greater than the external product now this is a shortcut i will use this because like everyone knows this i hope by now and like you can use the route table for finding the stability simply you just find for which case my all the poles will lie on the left hand side of this z plane so what is internal product internal product is product of these two coefficients 3 into 2 this should be greater than k okay so yeah my k should be less than 6 so this is the first condition this is the first condition now what are the other conditions now again like what you have to do is again write this uh, g of s like the clt in terms of s again so from there we will understand another thing so my g of s was equals to k upon s uh, s plus 1 into s plus 2 into s plus 3 okay so we can write this like the uh, characteristic equation we can write s uh, plus 1 into s square plus 5s plus 6 plus k equals to 0 okay so this will be s uh, cube plus 5a square plus 6s plus s square plus 5s plus 6 plus k equals to 0 so s cube plus uh, 6s square plus 11s uh, plus 6 plus k now what are the other conditions here so here also my system needs to be stable at least my system needs to be stable at least so for my system to be stable i have to use another condition again it should be like uh, internal product should be again greater than external product so 6 into 11 should be greater than my 6 plus k so here i can write uh, 66 k should be less than 60 so this is also telling k should be less than 60 uh, okay but k, k can be negative also okay so if like the, th these are the two conditions but uh, in the options what i am seeing was k can be negative also if k can be negative 
how how much minimum it can go how much minimum it can go the minimum it can go is that is if this coefficient like if this term becomes zero if this term becomes zero then uh, less than zero obviously we will have a negative sign hence this will not be stable anymore this will not be stable anymore so uh, so at minimum my k can be uh, minus six so here k has to be greater than minus six if k goes lower than minus six then this term will become zero and obviously our system will become unstable as you know like the uh, what was the like first criteria first criteria was all of the coefficients should have same sign or the coefficient should have same sign hence my k should be greater than minus six and k should be uh, less than six okay these are the two criterias so if the in the options if this was in the range then this will be correct okay so this is the answer for this question and we had another question like very same very simple question only that uh, like you haven't given that what is 40 db per decade in uh, db per octave scale simply uh, if you don't remember the formula like you just remember one thing that 20 db per decade is 6 db per octave okay so simply uh, 40 will be 40 will be 12 db per decade okay or you can de uh, derive it from like uh, from the uh, log 10 scale to log 2 scale you can derive it okay so these were the uh, like questions that i found till now if you find any more question you can send it in the telegram and yes do hit the like button if you like the solution and all those things thank you for watching